I never thought that I'd be making this video on the 31st of December 2020, but alas, yesterday after I did my video covering the rumored specifications for the entire RTX 3000 mobile lineup, a lot of you guys have asked me about the performance of the RTX 3060, 3070, 3080, and you know, the Max-Q and the Max-P variants. What can you actually expect from them? And I told you that I don't know exactly what we can expect from it, but today I found some benchmarks for the RTX 3070 Max-Q, presumably, in Geekbench, which is not necessarily the best benchmarking tool to find out how good these graphics cards are going to be. However, it will still give us a particular insight into how well it is going to perform and what you can expect from them. But before we're going to be talking about that, if you're a new viewer, then do make sure that once you're done with this video, you can go and watch the 10, 15 videos that I've made covering the RTX 3000 mobile lineup, Ryzen 5000 chips, Intel's Tiger Lake CPUs, and of course the RX 6000M. And now most of you guys would like to hear at the end of the year or maybe in 2021 if you're watching this at a later point about the RTX 3070 Max-Q. Now I say the Max-Q variant just because the video cards article mentions that this is most probably that one due to the low frequencies that it has. However, we also found out that the 5120 CUDA cores has also been pretty much confirmed, which is going to be 768 fewer cores than on the desktop variant that I'm currently rocking in my system, but it will still sport the very same 8GB of GDDR6 RAM and the same GA104 chip, so I guess this turned out to be true from the rumor that we've seen yesterday, and the RTX 3070 Max-Q has been spotted in the HP Omen 15, and I know a lot of you guys have been wondering if this one is also going to be presented at CES 2021 and I'm still not sure about that but it's still impressive to see that it has managed to score over a hundred thousand points in two separate tests which is quite honestly you know not telling you much if you are not a Geekbench user or have tested graphics cards before. However, the good people at Video Cards have also included a comparison with the 2080 Max Q, which is 21% slower, but also with the 2070 Max Q, which is about 35% slower. And what about the difference between this GPU and the desktop variants? Um, well, I'm not going to be comparing it with the 3070 in my PC, but of course you can look at, um, at this GPU as one that is going to slot perfectly between the 2080 and the 2080 Super. And of course, I am talking about the desktop variants, which is gosh darn impressive if you <laughs> think about it. But of course, again, take these results with a grain of salt because it's still Geekbench that we're talking about. Either way, a lot of you are going to probably get excited and should you even get excited? Well, there's quite a few reasons to get reasons to get excited and quite a few reasons not to. So I'm going to point them out to you. You can get excited because the Max-P variant will definitely be better, but also don't get excited because it will cost way more and will be a lot more power hungry as I've shown you yesterday. You can also get excited because the Geekbench scores are good, but not too excited because it's not a gaming benchmark and performance will vary across the board depending on whatever games you throw at it, whatever um, application you know, Blender, whatever you want to test these graphics cards with. You can also, you know, speaking of performance, uh, this one is going to vary across the board and you shouldn't expect that all laptops equipped with, G with this GPU are going to shred through benchmarks because some GPUs will be thermally constrained or otherwise limited in terms of power and your CPU will matter too. And in this case, we've seen this one being paired with an Intel 10878, so not Tiger Lake, it's only Comet Lake H because I've shown, uh, well, discussed in other videos that um, Tiger Lake H 8 core, the 8 core variant is going to take a little bit more to ship to the market. So we're still stuck on Comet Lake whenever it comes to Intel, but hey, you can get to this one with a Ryzen CPU as well. So that's going to be great. And speaking of that, you can get excited because you're going to most probably be able to squeeze a lot more out of these uh, graphics cards and CPUs if you're going to undervolt them and tweak the settings. But also don't get too excited because these prices for these laptops are going to be a notch higher than what we've seen for the 20 series at least. However, you also need to think about that because a lot of you guys have asked me about um, how expensive these laptops are going to be. I cannot still tell you much about that. We're going to hear more about it in about two weeks from now at CS 2021 where these laptops are going to be presented. 
But I can tell you that looking at how the prices and for the other laptops that I've showcased on my channel and the, um, well, leaked MSRPs, uh, yeah, it doesn't look that these lap it doesn't look like these laptops are going to be all that cheap. How cheap? Well, I don't know why I said cheap, but <laughs> it's the end of the year, so I'm bound to make mistakes. Either way, in terms of pricing, um, I can tell you that we found out something about the Asus G15, and I know um, a couple of you guys have mentioned yesterday that you're interested in getting one of these G15 laptops from Asus, so we're going to be talking about that. Um, Thanks you guys who also mentioned that this one was spotted on a uh, South African website. I can't remember exactly, but either way, the good people at Video Cards have managed to find this laptop on uh, Ace on um, Amazon China. <laughs> This is really difficult to do at this moment. Um, either way, we found out that it's going to be about 2300 US dollars if you uh, make the price conversion, and luckily the good people at Video Cards have done that. And this seems to be in line with what one of you guys has mentioned in the comments yesterday, so I guess um, third time is going to be a charm whenever we're going to see this laptop uh, for 23-2200 US dollars, we can make it official. <laughs> Either way, that's kind of besides the point because I, I, I would expect this one to cost about 22 to 2300 US dollars, but again, this seems to be a little bit more than the um, MSRP that has been leaked at like by two, three weeks ago at this moment, but it's still good to know that um, these laptops are going to be paired with up to an RTX 3080 and we've seen it being paired with the 16 gigabyte variant version but if you the thing with Amazon is really weird you probably know this if you've been shopping even in um, Europe or in the US um, at the top it said 16 and in the description it said 8 gigabytes and we are expecting to see an RTX 3080 with 8 gigs and one with 16 gigs but I'm not sure whether this one is going to be the 8 or 16 gig by the version I would expect that for 2300 US dollars it's most probably going to be the 16 gig variant but I don't know it's not entirely confirmed yet um, in terms of CPU we've seen the 5800 HS which is definitely going to be very good for any task that you're going to throw at it so I guess you could get excited for that at least especially if you are within that budget you know <laughs> it's still a pretty high one but Either way, uh, maybe in 2021 you're going to have a lot more money to spend on these laptops because I don't want to, uh, say, throw at them. Either way, I think that I should also take a break from making all of those videos uh, until next year, which is going to be tomorrow, uh, <laughs> because I'm recording this at about 5 p.m. here in Germany. But what I wanted to say is thank you guys for staying with me, for watching all of my videos on my channel. It's been fantastic like I, I I get really still really anxious whenever I'm reading all of the nice comments from you and saying that you're waiting for me to put out videos on this channel and a lot of you have been really nice there's of course going to be some haters in there as well but you know they're very small compared to all of you guys who have been enjoying my content and <clears throat> thank you very much for watching and um yeah, uh, we also crossed a thousand subscribers, so that's another big one. It's yeah, <laughs> I'm completely overwhelmed, and I'm not really good at giving those uh, speeches. And I think uh, a lot of you guys are excited to party uh, this year. I don't know, maybe <laughs> maybe some of you are still going to get to have a party this end of the year. Although 2020 has definitely not been all that great. Hopefully, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that 2021 is going to be way better and I really hope that all of you guys who are looking forward to getting a new laptop are going to find one that is going to suit all of your needs and is going to be within your price range. Of course you can expect that on this channel you're going to find out more about gaming, about tech and PC hardware, not only laptops, so if you are still interested in following all of these uh, topics, all of these uh, products, then definitely get subscribed to the channel and I'll hopefully see you all guys um, next year, which is tomorrow. Either way, gotta end this video. Bye-bye.